Hidden amongst the hills of the Bafos district lies one of the most beautiful valleys of Cyprus, the Ezusa Valley. The river which flows through it, giving the valley its name, is the sixth largest in Cyprus, it rises in the forested valley of Aya, deep in the Bafos forest. The river's sparkling waters, originating from this pristine area, will traverse a large part of the Bafos district, passing close to the village of Biskopi, and then descending to the fringes of Ayavarvara village, before reaching the sea near Achebe. Over the ages, the flow of water has chiseled through the earth, revealing spectacular geological formations, clear evidence of the complex geological processes that created Cyprus. Here we find impressive folded layers of siltstones and radiolorites, as well as large sections of recrystallized reef limestones, which form beautiful geological formations, the most remarkable of which is the magnificent cliff at Episcopi. The complex geology and crucial presence of water have created a mosaic of different habitats hosting a rich biodiversity. It is noteworthy that 10 plant species found in the Ezusa Valley are included in the Red Data Book of the Flora of Cyprus, which catalogues the rare and endangered plant. The near permanent flow of water transforms the lower part of the valley into a mosaic of wetland habitats, a rarity for Cyprus. Thick stands of alder and plane trees form impressive galleries over the flowing water. Aquatic birds, such as the moorhen, live and breed amongst the reeds. The reeds also provide shelter and food for migrating species, such as the night heron, the colourful kingfisher and the little crake. Black franklins also live here, hiding in the thick vegetation. They are usually found in the lower reaches of the valley, near the village of Biscopi. Cyprus is the only European country where franklins occur. A very striking species is the freshwater crab. At one time abundant in the whole river valley, it is now very rare and confined to specific areas of the river where it hides in deep crevices. The maquis and forests of the valley shelter some important species of our fauna. Amongst them is our largest carnivore, the red fox and the ever wary hare. Thousands of colourful bee-eaters arrive every spring and autumn. They forage from among the dry branches of trees, mainly for large insects. The coin snake is a rarer species, immediately recognisable due to its striking coloration. Almost all the reptiles found in the area are harmless, the only exception is the blunt-nosed viper, but even then, only if disturbed. Frigana are also the ideal habitat for the nocturnal hedgehog. It easily finds insects to eat amongst the low vegetation. Amongst them is the impressive cypress tarantula, Chaetoperma olivesium. And amongst the tall grass, the chuka seeks a vantage point so that its mating call carries as far as possible. From higher up, the supreme predator of the cliffs, the peregrine falcon, is always watching. It is an impressive falcon, which for years now has nested on the Episcopi cliff. Churches and old places of worship, ancient legends connected with place names. Old water mills and stone channels testify to the timeless presence of man in the area. The black-headed bunting, one of Cyprus's most beautiful and melodious birds, nests in vineyards. Orchards are the hunting ground of the chameleon, a striking reptile of Cyprus. 
Its slow movement and ability to change colour to match its environment make it very difficult to locate as it hunts for insects amongst the foliage.